All right, chapter 3.7. Um, this is our last week of solving uh, before we get ready to wrap up the quarter. The past month has been focused on solving equations. We've slowly walked through all of the necessary skills and types of problems. Uh, briefly look over the types we have seen. You should almost immediately be able to recognize the strategy needed to solve it. So even if you're not super fast, you should at least be able to recognize what you would do. For example, if we have x plus 18 equals 91, we should recognize that this is being added and that we would subtract 18 from both sides and move on about our business. If we saw C minus 41 equals 50, we should recognize that minus 41 means I will add 41 to both sides and move on about what we would do. If I saw 7x equals 84, I should recognize this is 7 times x, that I would divide by 7 and divide by 7 on both sides. If I saw x over 9 equals 12, I should recognize that this means divided by 9 and know that I would multiply by 9 on both sides. Even when it comes to two-step equations, I should recognize that the 5 and the 2 are with x, that the 5 goes first by subtracting it. And then we divide by 2 and move on about what we would do. Same thing over here. If it was 3x minus 2, we should recognize that we're going to add 2 first because that number goes first, bringing down 3x equals 12, and again dividing by 3 and dot, dot, dot. And then the last two that we saw just last week, which is the one where it's more than two terms on the side. So the first thing we would do is put them together and then from there do what we did on the other two-step equation. Same thing over here, 5x minus 2 plus 3x. We put the like terms together, making 8x minus 2 equals 14. And again, following our instincts, following what we've been trained to do. So again, hopefully you recognize all the types of problems that we've worked to get an understanding of because that is uh, what we're really trying to do uh, this whole chapter. This week we'll make solving a secondary focus. Uh, the primary focus for this week is translating basic situations into equations. In order to do this, you need to make sure you remember the following words and phrases. Sum, we should know means plus. Difference, we should know means minus. Product means times. Quotient means divided by. Now we've gone a lot deeper than that in our other quarters, but at this point, like I said, if you haven't gotten the idea, then you'll get it next year. But just make sure you pass so you don't have to actually take this whole class over again. But uh, less than is also subtraction. But if you remember, less than means this is the one where we switch the order. So those are the five things you need to study for today. So make sure you write those five words down so you understand what those five words mean. And then you even understand that less than means switch the order because honestly, that's the only thing we're really going to be dealing with today. Uh, we've worked with these words before. When we translate, remember that the order of the parts remains the same in all situations except less than, which is why I put that star by it. With that particular phrase, again, we switch the order. Uh, one more topic we've covered is the idea that is means equals. So this will come in handy with the problems we do today. So let's just go ahead and get to it and get ready to get to our homework. So you will see a problem like this. The sum of a number n and 51 is 94. Write an equation to represent the situation. So there's my is, which means that's equals. Sum means plus. And it's the sum of n and 51. So it would be n, because n was first, plus 51. Again, the parts stay the same. If n was stated first, n goes first, 51 goes second. Is means equals, and then 94. So now we solve to find the value of n. This is not going to make you show your work because you've already been showing your work on everything else. But we do need to probably do it on a piece of paper to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. So we subtract 51 from both sides, getting, I believe, 43. Yeah, 43 is our answer, and that would be it. So the only answer you need to type in is the 43. The focus of this section is to translate the equation. Again, by the time you've gotten here, you should know how to solve it. So I'm not making you show all that work. You will have to show this equation, and you'll have to give the answer for n. As long as you can do those two things, you will be fine. The difference of a number k and 51 is 27. Again, write an equation. Difference means subtract. Difference of k and 51 is, which means equals 27. Well, here's the thing. Difference means subtract. k is stated first, so k goes first, minus, because it's difference, 51. So k minus 51 is means equals 27. And then again, from there, we're going to solve. So k minus 51 equals 27. What we're going to do is add the 51 to both sides. K comes down, 51 goes away. That makes, I believe, 78 as your answer. But again, the only thing you have to worry about showing is the equation. 
and the value for k. So with that said, again, you're, as I said, solving is secondary focus, which means that it's not the first thing you should be worried about. The first thing you should be worried about is translating. And once you have the translations, everything else should be good. Uh, the product of a number s and 12 is 864. Again, product means multiply of s and 12 is, which means equals 864. Now, if you remember multiplication, we write no matter what the order is, we put the number first, variable second. Is means equals and 864. It wouldn't matter if it said the product of 12 and s or s and 12. It's always number first, variable second. That's how we've seen it all year, 12 times s. And then when we go to solve, we're going to divide by 12, divide by 12. Remember, that's the way I really show it on paper. Uh, the 12s cancel out. S comes down with 12 goes into 84. 7 times 24. 72 would be our answer on that one. And that'll be it. Again, the key idea, find the answer and make sure you can set up the equation. All right. The quotient of a number x and 13 is 42. Write an equation to represent the situation. Again, quotient means divide. x and 13. Now the order on this is that whatever is stated first in division goes first, and whatever is second goes on the bottom. Again, first and second. This way is 42. So when we go to solve this thing, x over 13 equals 42. How do we get rid of 13? We multiply by 13 and multiply by 13. Those two things cancel out. X comes down, and I'll do the problem. Uh, 42 times 13, 546. So, so far, hopefully you've seen that these really aren't that bad. It's just like one-step equations, but words to start out the problem. As long as you've got that, we should be okay. And then E, 59 is 34 less than a number. Write an equation, represent the situation. So this one starts out differently because it says 59 is, and you want to make sure you keep that order. So 59 is 34 less than, which means subtract. But if you remember, this less than is the one where I switched the order. So I should have a number after that. Let's just go ahead and assume that's x. But anyway, 34 less than number x means 34 doesn't go first because less than tells us to switch it, which means you'd actually do x minus 34. After that, again, solve it. How do I move this 34, this with x? You add it to both sides. That makes 893 equals x, and that is our answer. So very brief lesson today. Just keep in mind, again, your test is going to cover all the equations from the past two weeks as well. And because of this, your homework contains problems from the past lessons. So this is so you can continue to practice solving them for the sake of a test. Again, be sure to contact me if you have any issues. And if you do contact me, make sure you show me some work so I can help you fix your decisions. Uh, if you don't send me your work, you want me to teach you. And I am teaching you here on the video and also in class. So again, make sure you contact me with, with work so that I can actually do what I need to do to get you on track. Other than that, have a good day and good luck.